In this tutorial, I'll introduce the Maze Troll 3D Assist programming utility. 3D Assist is a very handy utility built into many Maze Troll smooth controls, making it possible to pick dimensions directly from a solid model. Models can be imported from Parasolid files or STEP files with some limitations. Parasolid files have version numbers that are constantly being updated. Since it's impossible for an embedded control like the Maze Troll to keep up with these updates, the latest versions will not import. However, since the Maze Troll is a 2.5 dimensional programming language, it doesn't use the latest capabilities of Parasolid files anyway, so I just export as earlier versions. For example, in this dialog box, I'm exporting a model from SolidWorks as a Parasolid. As with many CAD systems, there is an option selection box. In options, I select version and export an earlier version. Version 18.1 should work fine. Step files, on the other hand, don't really have version numbers to worry about. The only issue I have found with step files is related to file size and complexity. I have found that very complex or large models are imported better as parasolids. Let's start by importing a model into an Integrex type machine with a smooth AI control. I have a simple program open here in an Integrex. I've already faced the blank to zero and would like to turn the OD next. I've entered the basic tool information for the profile and am ready to enter the shape. At this point, I'd like to pick my contour from the model, so let's import one. So I'll place my highlight on the first block in the pattern section of the bar out process. Next, I'll select the right hand menu button and 3D Assist. Select the file icon in the 3D Assist window. Locate the folder where my models are stored and select OK. Any file type the control recognizes will be shown in the window. I'm going to use this junction gate step file. So I'll highlight it and choose OK. Using my fingers in the control or my mouse in Smooth Cam AI, I can move the model around showing the relationship between the model and the coordinate system. As you can see, the model is currently oriented incorrectly. If I left it like this, it would look to be mounted in the machine as shown in this graphic. I need to get it aligned along the Z center line of my chuck. To do this, I'll select the zero icon. The model is shown split because I'm in a turning unit. These four buttons control my view. Selecting the XZ button shows the best angle for aligning the part to the center line. Down below, I can either shift the model in X, Y, and or Z, or rotate the model around the zero point. The first thing to do is rotate the part to align Z to the center of the turning spindle. The axis I want to rotate the part around will be the Y axis. I want to rotate the part around zero, not in place. And I want to go 90 degrees. With these values set, I just choose which direction with these two buttons. This looks good so far, but looks can be deceiving. I want to make sure this face is flat and on zero. To do that, I'll select the shift button. Click the selection button and choose arc circle center and turn off turning shape to get a full model. Now I can click on these holes on the face of the part to make sure they are all at Z zero. Note that I have to clear my selection between each hole. Looks like all four holes are at Z zero. Also, the center bore is now my X, Y, and Z zero point for programming. I'm happy with that, so I'll set this new rotation by choosing the center icon again. And my model is aligned. You can see my shape is shown correctly. And I'm ready to start picking my turn shape. Let's move to a mill and import a flat model for machining. The procedure for milling models is the same as that for the Integrex. After creating the bulk of the mill process, including tool setup, highlight the first line in the shape section, select the right hand menu button, and select 3D Assist. Select Change Folder to navigate to the folder containing the desired model file, and choose OK. Select the desired model and select OK. It appears the zero of this model is at the bottom of the plate. Let's move it up and center it on this center bore. First, select the XY view button. I want to set the zero to the top at the center of the bore, so I'll select the endpoint box. 
Choose Arc Circle Center, then again, Arc Circle Center. I'll zoom in to better select the circle and select the edge of the center circle. The center is off just a bit in X and Y, and the Z will move up 0.3 inches. Selecting the Move button moves the part to the selected zero. If I wished, I could rotate the part for better clearance in the machine with Rotate. I could also select any point I wished on the model and program with that location as zero. I'm pretty happy with what I have done, so selecting the center button again locks that zero in, and I'm ready to select my shape for the line left process. Be aware that the imported model does not get saved with the program. As long as you stay on this screen and work with the same program, the model will stay imported. You can move around a little in the control, but if you start programming a different part or the control needs the memory, it will dump the model and you'll have to reload it. In the next tutorial, I show you how to work with the different capabilities of the 3D Assist programming tool.